Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Raid Shadow Legends and it's also being live streamed FYI, but uh, hi there Sir, Sir Rain. Uh, but yes, for you guys who didn't watch the entire like one hour and 50 minutes of the clan boss video I did the other day, today I'll show you uh, a couple of clan boss runs. I'll probably time lapse them a little bit maybe or maybe not because I'll look stupid on the face cam but I may cut some. Uh, just to show you how the team is working now that I've got masteries on my man eaters. I ended up just going for like a counter attack setup. Uh, so this is this is how, how they are. I don't see the point in doing anything else with them. Uh, and I also, <clears throat> I think I did this off camera. Uh, but I built a frozen banshee up to have 212 speed, 286 accuracy and everything. Uh, in place of then it would be... Uh, freaking, uh, what would it be? Race and Scar High to see two twelve speed, and then anyway, then then I did Graf Shield Killer at two ten. I experimented a little bit for some with for some bench yesterday because the boss was uh, green, which made me have to three key it, uh, and I did thirty three million with her, thirty one million with Raisin. Uh, so I've decided just to be on a little bit, <laughs> just to do it a little bit earlier while the boss is void. To make it easier for myself. So let's take her out. And let's put uh, Race and Scarhide back again. And let's go ahead and do it. Let's do some clan boss stuff. And I'm very happy that it does not begin in auto. That should have been fixed like from the beginning. But I, oh well. And I also have obviously throughout these days memorized what I need to do. Imagine I fail now. Imagine I fail when I say, oh, I memorized it, and then I fail. That would have been kind of funny and kind of tragic at the same time. Now the boss will hit. See, 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 I know when the boss will hit. I'm aware. I, I'm not too stupid. I'm kind of stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Uh, <laughs> and then we will use attack 3 on this guy, and then we will just be using attack 1 on this guy. Then just simply attack one on this dude, bro. Then simply attack one on this dude, bro. And then I think the quick one will uh, will also get a turn before the boss. Now the boss will hit. Then I will do attack one uh, with the slower man eater, and then I can auto. So I've somewhat memorized it a little bit. So attack one here. Now his buffs is removed, and now now it's autoable. Uh, and now everyone will go, everyone will lose their unkillable, and then the man eater will trigger unkillable, and then the boss will hit. So yeah, man, it's very nice, it's very cool to just be able to experiment around like this. I kind of wanted yesterday, uh, with the boss being green, I kind of wanted to use both Grave Chill Killer and Frozen Banshee, but the damage that Natural is outputting, I don't think they could match, and it's kind of a waste of a clan boss key to even attempt that. But maybe at some point when the boss is green, I can use both of them, having their combination to see. Or I could also even remove... <coughs> I could even remove the <coughs> the Skull Crusher and then add like a Frozen Badger or some other hitter. Uh, during of which the boss is um, it's like, it's like green. Because then I need a lot of damage. But I do enjoy the counter attack. And without the counter attack, I feel like my damage would heavily tank. Uh, which is a big issue uh, But yeah, this will go on for a uh, quite a bit of time, but you've kind of seen now how it works I'll probably cut or I'll pause the recording. Heck yeah, man. We can pause recordings here. So yeah, let me do that as So so the first boss was 38 point 30 36.8 million we're doing the second one now uh so yeah, this is pretty much just how it goes all the time. And uh, I've just been just talking about a little bit during the, the stream and stuff about what teams we can use. And uh, Serene actually gave some good advice against, uh, against the blue boss. I can kind of cover this in the recording as well a little bit, I suppose. Uh, for a magic boss, they, they're suggesting we could try Frozen Banshee, Race, and Grave Killer. Against the spirit boss, we can try Fey, Natural, and Frozen Banshee. Because uh, currently, yesterday, the boss was green, and I took out Raisin Scarhide for a Frozen Banshee. And my damage was 33 million. With Raisin Scarhide, it was 31.4 million or something. Uh, 
and uh, so my current struggle is that with the with the blue boss and the green boss, uh, my damage will be just low enough to where I have to three key. So try I'm trying to figure out ways in order to two key that as well. The red boss is neutral to this team, so that doesn't matter. Uh, I suppose Netral is strong against it, so maybe he does more. But anyway, like in gen in general, like. The Void and the Red boss is the only bosses I can currently 2-key. <clears throat> so I, I have to figure out a way to 2-key <clears throat> the others as well. And so with the advice in the chat was very nice. So I will definitely test that. I even saved it. So yeah. Heck yeah, man. So we're, we're literally just trying, trying our best to do as much damage as possible. Natural is a beast though. I think he did like 21 or 22 million damage. Like he did a lot of damage. Like natural is kind of kicking ass. That's all I'm. That's 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 pretty cool. Uh, Raisin's damage kind of sucked. It was like seven million or something. So I definitely need to somehow increase his crit damage and crit rate. My, my mean in the meantime maintaining his speed to where exactly where it is. He can't lose any speed, uh, or and he can't gain any speed. Uh, so I just have to somehow manage. To, to get better gear for that. I've also been contemplating just farming a lot of dragon lately. Just to get some speed gear. Because uh, my, my art, like for the, that, the clan boss game is, is pretty much, it, well, it is, it is what it is. Like the clan boss game <clears throat> is, is okay for now. I'm happy where it is. Two key is the, the thing I wanted. Uh, and I wanted two key for a very long time. Uh, so I'm kind of fine with kind of leaving it and hoping to just log in a little bit earlier. Sure, I can do that, Serain. I can do this. Uh, I can do that after this battle. Um, and so it's just, yeah, this like I need I need to experiment a little bit with the with the suggested formations against different uh, di different affinity bosses. And if that manages to tweak it, then everything is just wonderful. But if it doesn't, I may. Uh, I might have to tweak the gears a little bit, see what I got, but I kind of want to now steer from clan boss focus, uh, now that I feel like I've got it down to a stable tukey. Like, it's a, it's a, when the boss is red or, or void, as long as I don't mess up, it is a guaranteed tukey. Like, you, I cannot get, like, it's a 100% chance to get a tukey if I don't mess up, like, if it's not a user error against the void and red. Uh, so, and the three key is just so annoying. Uh, but yeah, with that, I think focusing a little bit on arena would be fun. Because now I will get the daily influx of ancient shards, void shards, on rare occasions, sacred shards. Uh, and I think now that now I've been kind of stupid and wasted some void shards on the 10x Krisk events, just hope to get Krisk. Unfortunately, didn't did not get him. Uh, but I should I should wait until the events are in general 2x chance of summoning someone or like anything. Uh, so I will probably save my shards for that, even though I opened up some earlier today on stream as well. And uh, without getting any luck, I got an Eris. 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 I don't know how a Iris. Um, got any got uh, okay? What do you mean? Got any other good ones? Well, I I I do like. What do you mean? Like for the for the for the for the from the chart? No, I did. I didn't really get anything good. I pulled like an arrow the other day out of any event. It was just a random one shard pull. So I feel like my legendary luck, or at least the mercy system, is reset, uh, at least from the <coughs> from the ancient shards. So I haven't really gotten anything. I did. I haven't really gotten anything interesting, especially today. It was just a few rare champions. There was nothing interesting there. It was just like four ancient shards or something. Uh, but yeah, regarding the regarding the arena stuff, like I just I just need. A Madam series. That's what I really need. I need a Madam series and a Siffy. It's a, it's a small ask. I know it's very easy, very common champions. So hopefully, <laughs> sadly, it's not very common champions. Uh, but yeah, um, 
So now that I have my daily influx of shards, hopefully at some point I will get at least one of them, or maybe even two of them. Uh, that that would be very ideal. Uh, and then I then I can build like a proper proper arena team. But until that point, I suppose just farming a lot of speed speed artifacts for my arbiter is the best way to go about it because she is she is cool, right? She's got three twenty one speed or something, but she's just not. She's not great. She's good, but she's not great. And I would like to make her great. Uh, again. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, that was a bad. Okay, anyway, yeah. I, I, want, I want to make Arbiter great again, pretty much. So, we, we, gotta, we gotta get her up to, like, I think 340 speed would be ideal. But that's just gonna be tens of thousands of energy into Dragon. And so it's going to be incredibly just time consuming and it's maybe even it may even take more energy It may take a hundred thousand energy. I currently in my in my arena team. I'm kind of messing about like I I currently I believe I have uh, Tomb Lord, Lysandra, Arbiter and Trunda. Trunda is obviously the nuker So yeah, and I, I kind of want to return to an immunity setup uh, my pilots, I had a, I had a pilot the other day who, well, the other month, the other year, probably last year, who changed my gear from immunity back to savage and stuff. And I kind of liked having an immunity setup because that way torment teams or whatever didn't bother me. Everyone was in immunity except for, um, except for Arbiter. <clears throat> my Lysandra had like 200 and... 67 speed or 270 speed with immunity gear my my trunda was a little bit slower though she was like 190 something speed with immunity gear but she had good crit rate crit damage and all that but then again i don't really face i don't i don't know i don't know i don't even know whether i want to do immunity gear on everyone yeah because back then i used immunity gear on stagnite and used stagnite instead but uh, yeah, that's that's why I, I used to use uh, Tomb Lord in in Fire Knights Castle, and I didn't bother to remove his shield gear because I needed shield gear to be able to beat that. So I don't know what to do with my arena team. But uh, Trunda is, is the main nuker. Uh, she is the nuker. I have a Rotos as well, who's not as great anymore. Uh, but yeah, Trunda Trunda is the main. The main nuker. I have a skull crown. I I could make a blender team. I have like the what do you call him again? You call him the uh the the lead the epic the epic uh, ghoulish no it's no not ghoulish. What's his name again? I can't remember. But anyway, an epic carry alley attack guy. A uh, catacomb counselor. That's his name. That's his name. Catacomb counselor. A not muscle image, which I messed up saying in a video the other day. Um, but yeah, but there we go. There we go. So yeah, we're getting there though with the with the clan boss. I suppose we'll just keep the full second run in, so you can you guys can see on the YouTube video as well how it kind of works, and uh, yeah, internal resistance and all that. But yeah, like like Trinda is a is a very good damage dealer, but she is um, yeah, she's just good in general, I suppose. I just want her to be stronger. She needs the power. She's got like some somewhat over two hundred crit damage with savage gear. Yeah, Trinda is insane. I so wish I had Madame Sivris though. Like in gen, obviously Sifi would be the best one I could get, but the second best champion I could get after for Arena would be Madame Sivris. For Clan Boss, obviously it would be Dracomorph. I believe I I've heard Dracomorph is the best, uh, but even then, like I think I don't know what like um, Dracomorph, not Venus, right? Venus is kind of whatever, right? Uh, so yeah, Dracomorph would be the one. He would be the chosen one. Then obviously, like um, what do you, is it a Septimus which extends debuffs or is that someone else? Anyway, that's also a very cool champion for for the clan boss of which I do not have. But yeah, like uh, there, there are Seeker even Seeker. Yeah, a one key team would be nuts with Seeker. Heck yeah! But sadly, I don't have a Seeker, and I don't think I've ever gotten a Seeker. But I, I sometimes think that I have had a Seeker and sacrificed him. But 
Then I look at the index and I do not think Seeker has been obtained ever. So yeah, Seeker would be pretty insane. Seeker is one of the OG champions as well. It's uh, it's one of the champions which was around when I was around in the very beginning. Uh, or at least a month after the beginning or something. So Seeker, I've seen, I've, um, yeah. The, the few events which I didn't do, the the events was which was around just before... Wait, was I around then? I think I was around... Was I around? Because you could fuse uh, Sir Nicholas. You could fuse him, and it was very easy to fuse. But I think that was... I can't remember if that was when I joined, or if that was quickly before I joined. Because obviously global release, I joined very quickly after global release, uh, or something like that. But like there, the before the global, uh, you start after that event, yeah. Because before that, because the game in general, like beta or whatever, not global, but not not global release. Because I think it started like in, it would be in the end of twenty eighteen, I think, and then the global re release was in in the. Uh, was in like the spring uh, of 2019 and I believe I, I joined in the spring of 2019 I, I joined like the end of March or something like that uh, 2019 and I think it had been out for less than a month or something then I don't know but anyway Sicker was around back then uh, so he is an OG I think also Skull Crusher was around I don't think Raisin Scarhide was around. I think he was introduced later on. I can't. I may be talking out of my ass though. I, I don't know, but I, I think I think uh, Raisin was added later. I don't know though. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong, but I feel like he, his fusion was around. I I can't remember. Maybe he's always been around. My memory, man, memory fades. Yeah, I don't remember either if he was around it from the very beginning. Ray definitely was not, I don't think. But there we go, 35.77 million. Uh, Raisin did way less damage now. Uh, he did 2 million less than he, he did before. Natural is kicking ass. Man-eaters are doing fair. And so now with that we have 2 keys, 72.6 million and we need only 70.2 million. So I'm happy with that. Uh, but there are people with, like, look at two Dracomorphs. That's kind of crazy, though. How are they doing so little damage with two keys? Like, how are they doing so low damage with two dra two Dracomorphs? I don't get that. Two Dracomorphs? I always thought, Drac I, for some reason, had uh, an image in my head where, it, where they were green. But anyway, they were blue. Uh, but yeah, how are they only doing that damage with a couple of Dracomorphs? Uh, then also, hmm, that's very interesting. <coughs> uh, on and Ali attack. Yeah, I don't understand how they're doing so little with that. Uh, then we have this seeker doing seventy two million. Then we have this fifty nine with two. Fifty three with one. Okay, that's more. That's more like it. Yeah, Vizier, he is very good. He's very good. Then we have forty two with one. That's a Crisk setup. I saw the record, by the way, someone dealt like 200 and... Yeah, oh yeah, it was 203 million. But like double Crisk, I don't understand how that works. The Turval did 94.7 million. So he did... The Turval alone beat the Ultra... Like the Turval alone got the Mark Chess and Ultra Nightmare. <laughs> like he could even remove Turval and he would still have the damage to Mike's key, I believe. So it's kind of, oh wow, the boss is red, which would actually be fine for me, so I could have actually done it later, but you can never know, you can never know. But yeah, 203 million is kind of, it's kind of crazy, let's just remove that now. What a damage, man, what a damage, need some pixels, so let me just end the recording. Thanks guys so much for watching, if you have enjoyed, you should leave a like, subscribe, and I'll turn